In this tutorial, I will show you how to do this double braided headband and then show you an alternative way to finish this dial in case you want to wear all of your hair up. To start, I'll be applying the GHD heat protecting spray, focusing on mid shaft to ends, but what's nice is it's in like a nice mist, so it'll cover evenly. Sometimes I find with wet sprays, they like shoot out in a really direct stream. This gives you a nice mist all over so you can really cover your hair. So I'll be using the GHD air blow dryer and this comes with two nozzle attachments. I am not going to use the nozzle until my hair is about 80% dry, then I'll stick it on and really smooth through each section with a paddle brush. So I'm using the GHD platinum flat iron to create the soft curls. And what I love about using this iron, in particular for flat iron curls, is it has a beveled edge on both sides. The plates don't have hot spots, so it's even heat, which is really, really important for consistency in smoothing your hair with a flat iron or curling it. But the beveled edge is also key. So if your flat iron has a 90 degree angle at the edge of the plate, and make sure you look and see, don't use it for curling. That'll be too rough, uh, kind of scraping against your hair. But if it has a beveled edge, like this platinum does, it'll be nice and smooth and create a really soft bend to it. So divide your hair in half, or in thirds if you have super thick or super long hair, and try and keep your sections pretty consistent. So it's going to be about maybe two and a half inches in width all the way around. And then as we get to the top, you can change up the size of the curl, that'll just contribute to sort of the casual nature of it. It won't be all the same size, but I like to stay consistent in the bottom half of the hair. So just keep that in mind as you're working. And then you always want to put the flat iron in vertical and keep your wrist at the same angle as you're pulling it through. Isn't that such a nice bouncy curl? So once the bottom is curled, let down the top. Run your fingers through your waves to soften it all out. So you only need about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of your part, and then the rest of the hair will be going straight back. So if it's helpful, go ahead and rake that back. You can also grab a duckbill clip to hold that section back to make sure you don't pick it up in the braid. Make sure you have a few bobby pins ready to grab so you can pin your braid as soon as you're finished with it. And you want to grab a section of your hair that's far down from where your part started and kind of goes on an angle backward. I wouldn't go much farther behind your ear. And depending on your hair thickness, you can decide on how thick you want this section to be. But the goal then is to pull it over this way and then we'll grab a section over here 
and pull it over to the other side and then this part will be hidden by the hair that we'll let down here. When you get about halfway, hold the braid and then just start stretching it out a little bit and then continue. Once you get to a good stopping point and you're sure that you have enough braid to pin on the other side, hold it tight as well and use your other hand to just soften the braid out. This will help it blend in with your hair a little bit better and it looks just a little bit more casual than a really tight braid. So once you've stretched it a bit, go ahead and pull it over. And you'll want to pin it almost exactly where you started the braid on the opposite side. That'll look the most symmetrical and balanced. If you're planning on wearing your hair down with the double braided headband, use a bit of hairspray to make sure this hair right behind the braids stays going back and doesn't part and fall on either side. That'll just make it look a little bit more polished. And I'd recommend putting a little bit of hairspray in the waves so they don't fall out. But don't overdo it. You want the whole look to be kind of casual and the braids will help keep your hair out of your face so you won't need a ton of hairspray around your face as well. So this is the first look and if you want to see a really simple way to pull it back if you want your hair totally off your neck, keep watching. So if you'd rather pull all of your hair off your neck, I'm going to show you a cute way to do sort of what I always refer to as a piggy flip, but a piggy flip ponytail. So that's just a soft way to pull your hair back without pulling it too tight because you don't want to expose where you pin those braids in place. So the piggy flip helps the hair stay secure but still a little bit soft and casual.